Are you taking a lot of notes? Are you using a Google Keep? I'm going to show you step by step how amazing thing you could do with Google Keep right now. But can you also do a task management among yourself and also to your other team member instead of your team? The answer is yes. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can use Google Keep to manage tasks with your team members as well too. And all this thing is for free because an example for other note taking app like Evernote or Notions, this feature is paid and it requires you to upgrade. But this one gonna be absolutely for free. And not only that, keep watching. In the end of the video, I will also show you the whole, how you can build a whole digital note taking system which can be your second brain as well too. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Now let's say example, how can you really collaborate? So one other thing you can actually click by and you can just type and more another thing is about you can actually make a checklist as well too. Like an example, let's, let's get this done. And then like an example, checking email, uh, replying to, to John and then build a meeting unit. So that's the way you can actually, like an example, uh, having a, a summary of of the uh, of the yesterday meeting. So, like an example, you can make your daily goals inside the keep as well too, and you can keep storing. Like an example, all you need to do is just put a new label. You can say daily goals, and like an example, let's get this done, and you can put a particular date. Like an example, twenty eighth of September. Too. So now you have your notes uh, uh, completely stored here and you, you're saving it as well too. So I can, I'm going to search it out, 28 and it's already appearing very easily. So now there are a few things you could do. You could actually put it, your checklist in the top of your thing. You can select this pin and then now it will be always in the top of your, of your key brain as well too. And you can easily access this one too. And you can make it on in the second day. You can actually easily come by. And you could, you can actually copy to Google Docs. So you can actually build this, this all checkpoints to Google Docs and you can actually share with someone to tell them to get it done as well too. Uh, now, you can do more thing. You can do some coloring option as well too. You can come by and actually you could, you could actually add more color. Like you can example, you can choose different background. Like you can even choose a different kind of images as well too. You can choose different color as well too and you can save. So now let's say about, uh, I want to show you right now about task management. Let's say an example, uh, how you can actually assign your Google Keep tasks to other team members, which is actually an advanced feature, a paid feature of Notions. How can I share a particular notes? So let's say example, you're making, let's say, let's make some tasks. Let's say example, task for, task for uh, uh, Mike uh, today example you are a manager you're assigned to a team let's say example you write on 20th of September and uh, let's 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 make it a checklist for for easy for Mike so I choose a checklist now let's say example to follow up and here's a beautiful part you can actually set a collaborator and as soon as you set a collaborator you can actually type a particular person and you can save this one then that person will be also receiving seeing this ticket to their keep and they will be able to update you on this one now here's a beautiful part you can actually add it on and you can share with that and now let's say example let's cancel it and now you say is about you can actually put a part of the level like so for example team uh, my delegation delegated task like an example, you can always write it down all this uh, delegated task here. And you can create a checkbox, a, a, a level here. And so you can always choose all the tasks you have delegated. Like an example, now delegated to, like an example, if you have a team of five, you could actually subgroup to five people. But the best way to do it, you can put on one, one, one level like that and you can easily able to track it down as well too. And now you, you tack it down. So now you can see the top of the one. And as soon as you can see this one different time, might get things done and you will see the real time he just get it done and 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 it will be updated automatically to your dashboard as well too so this is the, all the pin thing i have pinned a lot of stuff but under the pin i have all the normal task is bottom as well too 
So that's the way you could ease it on. Like an example, when all the task is done, it's not really important to you anymore. So you just unpin it and it's gone. So like an example, if you have a team or a directory for five people, you can create these five different boxes and then assign to each of them and tell them this is your next three days goal or five days goal or one week goal or today's goal. And that's the way you can get amazing amount of thing done. And all I'm saying this one is this task management in Kip is amazing workflow and that's the way you could do it and a lot of things done with your team. Because if you talk about that one minute redirection to your team, this kind of goal setting is really, really powerful and can get you a lot of things. And again, I'm telling you right now, the whole Kip thing is absolutely for free. You don't need to pay anything because it takes us a one, one notes only really so small that it doesn't really take a lot of time about the spacing so in your in your standard gmail account like i'll be sharing with you that let's go and i'm using a gmail accounts and normally in a, in a standard gmail account come with the five gigabytes and if you don't use it for other purposes like an example storing a lot of drive uh, file and video the whole five gigabyte you can use just to do the uh, note storage and like an example you could use it on another email for just emailing purpose and you can have one email like this is the email I only use for key purpose and for my note takings and assigning with team members and get a lot of things done and that's the way I, that's how you can very easily having a second brain to store all your task all your progress all your knowledge on your notes and also the task management of your team and talent allocation as well too and all is for free you want to learn more about the second brand and to understand the more about the concept go ahead and check this video right now and i will see you there and explain you more how attractively you can use the second brand concept so click there and i'll see you there